I just got done building up this sick little gaming rig here with an RTX 3070 for a pretty reasonable price. Stick around for the whole video to find out how I did it and find out the price I got it for. With GPU prices slowly coming back to normal, they are coming more and more available every day. I recently snagged this 3070, the Gigabyte Vision, on my local market. But then I also snagged a Zotac 3070 and I want the Zotac one because it is a bit slimmer and it will help with thermals in my new and upcoming ITX build. So parts for this build that we still need. We need RAM and we need a power supply, but we have everything else. Let's talk about the motherboard and CPU. So the motherboard and CPU, it was a deal on Mercari that I found. It was a bundle deal with a motherboard, cooler, and a Ryzen 7 2700. And I paid like 160, but it was like 180 after tax and everything. And that actually got here today. So we'll open that up and test if it works. Alrighty, here's this package right here. Let's open it up. Uh, <laughs> the person that shipped this out put a lot of tape on this thing. Hopefully it's packaged well inside. The box feels pretty light, so I don't know. Hopefully it's not empty. <laughs> oh, sick. Got the IO shield right here, so that's always good. Got some, some plastic bags. Wow, a lot of plastic bags. Okay, everything seems to be intact. I don't see the cooler. Oh. This must be the cooler right here. There's a lot of these damn bags. Even more. A Target one this time. Oh, there, there's more. <laughs> okay, damn, here's the cooler. Ooh, kind of happy about that. It looks pretty clean. No thermal paste on the bottom too. They cleaned it off. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Let's take a look at the CPU though. See if there's any bent pins. I don't think there is because it probably wouldn't be in the socket, but Always safe to check. Doesn't look like there's any bent pins. Let's just safely put it back. As I was saying, I don't have a power supply for this build, but I do have this little cheap uh, 500 watt thermal take one. I do not trust this to power the 3070. So for now, I'm just gonna test the Ryzen 7 with the GTX 645. If you look closely here, here's the front panel connections. And if you look at the top, it says power button. So what you wanna do is take your screwdriver Jump those two pins, power's on. And then you hope and pray that the build turns on. I'm gonna make sure this monitor's plugged in. Okay, the monitor is plugged in. Let's just uh, give it another shot, I guess. I think I found the issue. It's trying to do it from DisplayPort, but I'm on HDMI. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the cooler on now just because it's taken a little longer than I expected. I'll leave this thermal paste link down below. This is the one I've been using and it's working great. Oh my God. Take a look at this motherboard here. What do you not see? RAM. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put any RAM in. I know I don't have RAM for this build, but I have RAM to test it, and I didn't do that. That's probably why it's not booting. Let's go ahead and put some RAM in. All right, let's power it on again. I actually feel really stupid. I hope this works now. Come on. <laughs> oh my God. Drop a comment down below if you saw that there was no RAM and you were just screaming at me through the screen. I feel stupid. Since I don't have the RAM or the power supply, I've been looking on Facebook constantly refreshing and I found some RAM and we're about to go pick it up. It's a two by eight gigabyte kit clocked at 3000 megahertz, which is a bit slow for Ryzen, but hey, listen to the price, 40 bucks for 16 gigs of DDR4. So I'm not gonna pass up the deal, but if I find some better RAM, then I will use that for this system since it's a higher end build. All right guys, we got the RAM right here. It's actually Vengeance RGB RAM. 16 gigs for 40 bucks, that's a steal. Let's go home now. Okay, we just got the RAM installed. Now turn it back on and see if this RAM works. Uh-oh. I don't know if you can see that, but only one stick lit up. It's detecting 16 gigs though. I think the other one's broken. I mean, hmm. The RAM works, but the RGB doesn't. Okay, so I don't have a power supply for this build, but I do remember I have this system here. If you saw the short on my channel I did kind of a long time ago, this is that GTX 1070 PC I picked up for like $380 that I'm gonna do a transforming video on. I don't really remember what wattage this power supply is, so let's take it apart and see if it'll work for our build. And if it does, then let's get building. Okay, and just this one screw here. Ugh, I can't get these cables unplugged. There we go. I think I almost pulled out the graphics card. <laughs> Alrighty, this should work out. It's a 650 watt 
semi-modular but we're missing some of the cables but we got the main cables we need and SATA powered both PCIe connectors that we need now let's do a little dusting of all these parts they're not completely dirty but let's give them a wipe down and then we'll go over them and then we'll build this thing Okay, now that we got all the parts for this super dope build, let's go over all of them. The first part is the CPU, of course, the Ryzen 7 2700. And then the GPU, it's a Gigabyte RTX 3070 Vision OC. That clean thing right there, super clean. It's gonna look super nice in that case. And then the motherboard is an ASUS Prime B450 MA. It's a micro ATX, which is going into a full ATX tower, so it's gonna look a bit weird. But hey, the case is white and the GPU is white, so they'll complement each other. And then for the RAM, it's the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro, a 2x8 gigabyte kit clocked at 3000 megahertz, but one of the sticks doesn't work. It works, just doesn't light up, so it may look a bit funky, but we'll see. And then for storage, we're using a PNY 240 gigabyte SSD, and then a Toshiba 2 terabyte hard drive. And then for the power supply, we're using that Corsair CX651 that we just pulled out of that pre-built. And then the case, it's a Musitex mesh, uh, ATX uh, with like ARGB fans. It was pretty cheap on Amazon, like $70 for what it is with a bunch of ARGB fans and tempered glass. I'll let you guys know how it is to build in and I'll also be leaving it linked down below. Oh yeah, baby, let's turn it on. Mm. Oh yeah, that one RAM that isn't working. Ooh, drop a like for this peel right now. Like the, like the video so I can peel it. Oh yeah, baby, so clean. All right, we just got done testing this thing and I already listed it. But before I go over the benchmarks, let me show you the pictures I took for the ad. Let me know if you agree that those are pretty clean pictures. But anyways, let's get right into the benchmarks. We tested Fortnite in a 1440p actually, since there is a 3070. So we tested it in 1440p with pro settings. We got an average of 155 FPS. I'm not too sure if that's like normal, but oh, seems pretty good in 1440p. And then we tested Warzone in 1440p high settings and we got an average of 110 FPS. And then in Apex 1440p high settings as well, we got an average FPS of 145. If you notice in the picture that the RAM is a bit different, that's because I got this deal today. Uh, it looks a bit beat up. It has no side panels at all, but it's a Ryzen 5 1600 AF RX 570. And that had a Corsair Vegin 16 gigs at 3200 megahertz. It looked better than having RGB with one only working. And on top of that, they threw in another RX 570 and I paid 315 for all this. So that is why the RAM is different in this build. But now that I listed it, I listed it at 1750 because I looked up on eBay on sold listings and it tallied up to around 1500. So I just went up a little bit because people tend to lowball but I may lower it to around 1500 to get a quick sell. Okay, so it's been roughly about a whole day since I listed the computer, and I've had a couple messages, but not really. I've had one guy offer just wants to buy the GPU, and then I had another guy saying he wanted to buy the whole computer, but only could do 1300 because he said he was gonna swap out the CPU, motherboard, and all that other stuff. So uh, it's not looking too good, but hopefully we sell it tomorrow. I'm going to boost the listing and like promote it so it sits at the top of search results. And if it doesn't sell tomorrow, then the next day I may drop the price and hopefully we get it sold. As you can see here, I still haven't sold the PC and I'm not sure why, because I have it listed at 1475, I dropped it from 1750 and at 1475, in my eyes and in my opinion, it's a steal for the system. But who knows, it's been listed for about nine days. So uh, yeah, I'm losing and I'm still gonna share it with you guys because you guys, that's what I do. 
So I'm losing really hard on this one, but I have an idea of how we can turn it around today. So what's my idea on how to turn this loss into a dub? Well, I'm just gonna go sell the GPU alone. Uh, someone offered to buy it for 900 just for that, and overall, after selling that, that'll make all the other parts cheaper than I already got them for, and then I just have to throw in a cheaper GPU, and bam, we got another flip on our hands. So let's go. Alrighty, we just sold it. Uh, got 920 here. Oh yeah. Let's go. Now it's another hour drive back home. But hey, it was pretty worth it. You know, things are working out. As I was at a stop sign, I was looking for deals and I just found a 1080 for like 375. So I'm offering maybe like 325. And that'll be a good little budget GPU to throw in here. A 1080 for that much, that's a steal. Alrighty, we got that card. Uh, GTX 1080. It's a PNY OC version. He didn't budge much from 375. We got it for 370 actually. Uh, it's not like a screaming deal. It's a deal nonetheless though, but let's go ahead and throw this back in the rig All right, we just got done putting this thing together and also testing it in a Fortnite and 1080p pro settings I got an average FPS of 182 and Then we ran a quick time spine and got a score of 7130 I already listed it at a price of 925 and after we sold that RTX 3070 it helped us bring the build cost super low. The build cost was originally $1,144.33 and then we sold the RTX 3070 for 920 and then that brought the overall build cost down to $224.33 so I divided that between the leftover part and that gave us $100 for the 2700, $20 for the Asus Prime B450 motherboard, $40 for the Corsair RAM, 1610 for the SSD, the hard drive, the power supply in the case. And then the last and final part, the one that we just picked up was that GTX 1080 for $370. And then that gave us a new build price of $594.40. As I said, I've already listed it, so hopefully it sells on like the 3070 build because I'm already taking a loss, but um, we're trying to get that dub. Yo, we're finally selling that PC and it's taken a long time. Before it was listed for like a week and then I swapped it out to a 1080 and now it's been listed for 10 days but we're finally selling it on Wednesday. I had someone message me at about midnight last night saying they were interested and I said I would hold it for 20 bucks on Venmo and they sent that money over. So uh, on Wednesday, we're about to sell this PC for $850. So I told you guys the guy was gonna meet up with me today on Wednesday, but then he texted me last night and said, yo, I got invited to go camping. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to be back in time for Wednesday. Can we do Saturday and you can keep the 20 on Venmo and I'll give you the extra money. So in total, I'd be getting like $870 instead of 850. So I'll pick up the camera on Saturday and hopefully he doesn't flake again. Yo, today's the day that we finally sold that PC. My bad on my part here. I totally forgot to record it. But hey, I got the cash right here. And as I said, we sold it for 870 because the guy gave the guy gave me an extra 20 because he postponed our meeting even longer. So with us selling it for $870, we got a profit of around $275. But that is not the only profit we got in this video. Let's take a little backtrack to when we sold that 3070. So if we add up the profit from the 3070 with the profit from this whole computer, then we get a profit of around like $420, which is insane. It's pretty damn good. Things didn't go as planned, but you gotta be ready for those losses. And I think we turned it into a dub. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. Drop me a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.